What is common between AIM Dubai, One Zabil, Expo 2020 Dubai's Mobility Pavilion, Edris Residences Jumeirah Resort, Uptown Tower, FIFA Stadium Program, Saudi Arabia's Riyadh Metro, as well as the Red Sea Project? Well, WSP Middle East has been associated with all of these projects and has been providing services under the leadership of its CEO, Greg Kane. Greg will join us in Construction Weeks' studio today for a brand new episode of our expert interview series where he will talk to us about the company's performance and achievements in the past six months as well as make a really big announcement coming out of the company. Good morning, Greg. It's good to have you in Construction Weeks' studio today. Good morning, Ranju. It's good to be here again. Since the last time you spoke to Construction Week in January this year, I know a lot has happened at WSP Middle East. Would you like to start the conversation and tell us how things have been at the company? Yeah, so far, 21 has been a busy year for us. We had a, a very busy 2020 for a variety of reasons, but things have settled down. 2021 has been so far a good year, uh, performing well. Um, we've won a you know, good amount of work, which places as well going into 22. So it's been a positive 21 so far. Just need to stay focused now and continue to deliver for our clients. It's the most important thing. Yeah, I'm, I absolutely agree with you on that point. And just to quickly add on that, I'm sure the times have been exciting since the beginning of the year. So would you like to give us an idea of what were some of the most exciting and fascinating achievements uh, of WSP in the Middle East in the past six months? I think some of the projects... Um, We've had some projects get to the back end of their life. So you see, you know, delivery coming to an end and that's quite exciting. I often talk about Ain Dubai, the the the, the wheel on, on Blue Waters Island. That's coming to the end. But we've also won quite a few very exciting projects, particularly in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we've had some good wins in, in Qatar and actually a very good win, which can't quite yet talk about here in the UAE, a large project in the UAE. So the work winning has been good. This year, we've continued to grow our project management business. So led by Ian McGauley, a lot of our work winning has actually been in that part of the business. Mm -hmm. So that continues to go from strength to strength. And when I was here last, I talked about our, our um, push into advisory services and Kathleen McGrail is still leading us in that space and it's we're getting traction, we're winning work. So that's been going very well for us as, you know, so far this year. Definitely exciting times for WSP and we look forward to knowing more what happens in the, in the coming months. But we are actually here to make a really big announcement that is coming out of WSP. You are bidding adieu to the industry and you are vacating your role as the CEO of WSP Middle East. What are your comments about it? What would you like to tell us? Yeah, so I've been in the Middle East for almost 15 years with WSP for eight years. And I've been doing this role I'm in for about, about five and a half years. And it's my, my time in the Middle East has been absolutely brilliant. But um, myself and my family, we've decided it's time to, to move on. Very much a personal decision. My children are getting to the age where high school is approaching. We've been here for 15 years. We've got family elsewhere in the world. So we've decided to move on. Tough decision because we've got, you know, great. We've had a great time here. Great memories. Uh, got a great life. But um, most people leave at some point And that point has come for myself and my family. So you are leaving behind really big shoes for someone to fill. Would you like to tell us and obviously uh, all of the people in the industry who will be the person filling in these big shoes and will the, the next CEO be chosen internally from WSP Middle East? Look, I'm really pleased to share that uh, my role will be taken over by an internal person. So Dean McGrail, who is currently our managing director for property and buildings. Dean has been with WSP for I think 19 years. He's been in the Middle East for about 16 years and, and he's been doing his current role for I think six years now. So we have um, an approach in WSP where we try to fill all of our, our particular senior roles with an internal candidate first before going external. So we ran a process, a proper structured process. We brought in an external um, headhunter to run the process for us. And we opened it up to internal candidates first and you know tried to exhaust that route. And Dean came out um, as the preferred candidate. And in many ways, it's a very obvious choice. He... He knows the region very well. He knows WSP very well. He knows what we do. And very importantly, Dean knows and understands our clients, our people, our culture. So in my opinion, it's a really, really good choice. And I think the business is in great hands going forward with Dean leading it. 
Yeah, that's fantastic to know. And we look forward to speaking to Dean and understanding from him as well as to what are his expectations and outlooks for the industry. But you are definitely living, as I said, with such an impressive track record of having managed some of the biggest and the most iconic projects in the region during your time at WSP Middle East. What would you like to say uh, to, your, to the company uh, for it to chart more successes in the region and beyond? Well, I think with Dean's leadership, the company is very well positioned. And the success of, you know, that WSP has had in the region in the last couple of years is made up of a lot of people, you know, very well aligned, very hardworking, very dedicated, Dean being one of those people. Yeah. And the vast majority of those people will remain in the business after I'm gone. So the business is, is as strong as it ever has been. And I think having done the role now for five or six years, you know, it, it's not a bad thing for the business to go through its next phase. We've kind of learned that change is a good thing and not to stand still. One of our guiding principles is we challenge status quo. So I think for the business to continue to do well, it will evolve, it'll do things differently, it will change, it will adapt to Dean's leadership. And I think it's very well placed um, going into the years ahead. That's very interesting to know. And thank you so much for joining us today in the studio. I think this is the last interview that Construction Week is going to have with you. So I'm quite excited about know. it. But you never know. You never we know. look forward to seeing you in the region and in the industry again. I'm sure as much as we, the industry too, is going to miss your presence. But having said that, all the best to you for all of the adventures and to your family as well. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Ranju.